स्टार्ट हुए थे आठ एट ऑफ जुलाई को रात के साढ़े आठ बजे के करीब एंड उस दिन बेसिकली बिकॉज रात हो गई थी तो मेन थिंग विच वी वो कॉन्सेंट्रेटिंग ऑन वॉज प्लानिंग एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन ऑफ एसेट्स एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन बिटवीन वेरियस एजेंसीज लाइक द सिविल एडमिन विद द डिविजनल कमांडर द कैम्प कमांडर्स एट वेरियस प्लेसेस टूवर्ड्स द श्राइन द आर्मी कमांडर्स बी एस एफ एज वेल एज द जम्मू एंड कश्मीर पुलिस तो दैट वॉज वॉट वी डिड टूवर्ड्स द नाइट ऑफ एट ऑफ जुलाई द मेन एयर ऑपरेशन स्टार्टड ऑन नाइन्थ ऑफ जुलाई वेर एन ऑपरेशन स्टार्टड फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग अराउंड एट ओ क्लॉक द एसेट्स विच वी यूज व फोर मी सेवेंटीन वी फाइव फ्रॉम द बेस्ड यूनिट हियर फोर चीतल्स विच ऑगमेंटेड फ्रॉम द यूनिट एट ले एंड टू मोर फिक्स विंग एसेट्स विच गॉट इन मैन पार एंड एसेट्स फ्रॉम अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री यू वुड रियलाइज दैट डिस्पाइट द इंक्लीमेंट वेदर विच वी फेस ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम एंड वी लॉस्ट ऑलमोस्ट हाफ अ डे ऑन टेंथ ऑफ जुलाई वेर एन नो एयर एफर्ट कुड बी कैरिड आउट टिल फोर्टीन हंड्रेड आवर्स वी वर स्टिल एबल टू कैरी आउट अबाउट हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व मिशन ड्यूरिंग दिस कोर्स ऑफ टाइम evacuation of uh, 123 people from the shrine and the caves as well as panchan tree and uh, we also carried several mortal remains back to shrinagar approximately 29 tons of uh, relief and rescue material was thrown in from this base and few places nearby to the lower cave as well as panchan tree this effort would not have been possible without a lot of coordination and cooperation between various agencies the load which was carried up towards the shrine was basically people from the ndrf team the load which was carried up towards the shrine was basically people from the ndrf team which carried their equipment as well as their dog squad we have the uh, army engineers which carried uh, equipment like the dog drilling machines we had civil administration officials as well as some media personnel also air force on its part also ensured that on the morning of uh, 9th we carried uh, about close to 500 food packets knowing that immediately this was something which would be required at that place the initial setting up of a uh, air control and task force at panchan tree was a big decision which we took which was done with the first helicopter which landed there they ensured that the cooperation and management of all the requirements which was given from the civil authorities there was carried out you would understand that the valley being very narrow air space being limited and we had enough people operating in that area be it the air force helicopters be it army aviation or the civil operators these people ensured that aerospace safety and safety of equipment and personnel was ensured during this transit to and fro i think one of the major highlight of this was the joint operations which we carried out between various agencies be it the civil administration the divisional commander at kashmir the camp commanders up there the officers and men of 15 core the border security force people or the jammu and kashmir police i think we all of us worked together in a controlled and coordinated manner towards the same goal 
of ensuring that the task is completed satisfactorily. In the end, I would just like to say that as a team, as an Air Force, we are committed to helping each and every person who requires a help in this dire need. Thank you, sir. Uh, in terms of peacetime operations, as compared to a lot of operations we have seen, it was a bit on a smaller scale. I think basically because of the initial effort which people put in on the first day and because of that the fatality rate and the number of casualties was really limited. Sir, is the operation going to take more time or do you expect it to be over in a couple of days? I think a major effort has already gone through and uh, they have I think already cleared opening the Yatra again. We think maybe in a day or two, we'll be able to clear the area for anything else. Sir, I think the weather was the whole operation. I think you said that the weather was a lot of pressure because the valley was very narrow and the clouds Because of clouding and valley, choppers enter very difficult to enter. So, we have some minimum criteria that if you don't see it, you can't go to it. So, if you see it, even civil operations, civil operators, maybe for yesterday, till 2 o'clock in the morning, there was no flying, basically, because of the weather. So, the Air Force also had a problem with the first day, which was in the 5th or 8th, because of the weather. Until the evening, we knew that the weather because the weather was bad, so we knew that we would have thought that we would have to do it. It's better to do it in a controlled and phased manner. And that's why we planned the weather for the next day. It was planned for the 9th morning. Yes. Thank you so much.